the countdown is on to this year's Inter-Services Boxing Championships and members of the Army team are eager to enjoy as much time in the ring as they can to sharpen their skills ahead of the forces showdown. First round. Leading the Army this season is wily warrior Shannon Khan. Now in his 13th season with the squad, Khan's unorthodox approach continues to bamboozle his opponents before he picks them off with scoring shots. For this home show, Khan was paired with pugilist Lennox Gill from Southampton. A previous Southern Counties title winner, Gill, who fights for the Golden Ring Club, was a useful opponent to test the army man's form and fitness at this stage of the season. Gill grew into the contest, but it was Khan who would take victory, with the judges awarding the 58 kilogram contest the way of the military man. Afterwards, the army skipper was pleased to get the win. Preparation has been excellent and this is exactly what we need. For me, we need to do a few more of these because it worked a treat. Um, perfect in our home show, um, where, where we live and train every single day, so more of this would be wicked. Meanwhile, Joe Fleming was on top throughout his welterweight clash with Glyn Davis. Fleming, who had the measure of his Hillcrest rival, and wasted little time delivering well-executed punches that saw the referee step in with the first of several standing counts. Davis survived the round one count, but another Fleming barrage would come his way in round two. The Sussex boxer showed plenty of heart to carry on. The forces fighter could now sense victory. The glove savvy sapper finished the job as the referee called a halt to proceedings. A morale boosting win for the man from 2 6 Engineer Regiment with the inter services looming. I didn't look too much into it. I, um, I didn't load up my shots. I just let it flow a little bit and stayed happy, played the game. I didn't take it too serious. And it, it come out on top and it's shown. Yeah, nice to win by stoppage. Oh, perfect. That's how you want to stop. That's how you want to win, isn't it? Jordan Shaw marked his debut for the Army with a winning display against Dylan Cliff from the Birmingham-based Acox Green Boxing Club. Having only joined the Army squad this season, Shaw is looking to force his way into the team, taking on the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy in the coming weeks. After being away from the sport for two years, Shaw admitted to a level of ring rust and easing his way back into action. Impressing the judges to see him awarded a unanimous victory, the soldier who serves with the 1st Battalion Irish Guards says he's now gunning for further glory. I don't really feel like there is a ceiling really. I, I want to go right to the top. If I could make GB, that would be great. But first of all, I've got to tackle the UCAS and see if I can get through them. So this was a stepping stone to prove your form and fitness ahead of that? Uh, yes, definitely. My last fight was February 2020, which was before COVID. So a little bit of ring rust to shake off today then, and you, and you did it? Yeah, funnily enough, I was expecting to be rusty, but once I got back in there, it felt like it just come back naturally. What's it like training out of this facility? Oh, it's great, because you know, we get to train three times a day, which you don't really get to do in a civil world. And you know, the training's good, the training's tailored and periodised, so you always get the best start of your last sessions. Yeah, your first bout after a couple of years, wearing an army vest, I mean, do afternoons get much better? <laughs> no, not at all. I couldn't have imagined this ever happening, to be fair, so I'm definitely proud. With other army teammates claiming wins, the squad will feel they are entering the business end of their season in good shape. Julian Evans, Forces News, Aldershot.